Hello everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can uh, develop your own applications on top of uh, zero gravity. So we provide a uh, zero gravity uh, SDK for you to use to integrate into your system in order to interact with uh, uh, ZG's uh, storage services, etc. So we will uh, show two use cases uh, in, th in this demo. One is to check the storage node um, status uh, by using the SDK. And the second one is to upload a file using the uh, ZOG SDK. So let's first see uh, what kind of uh, uh, modules we need to import. So need to have some built-in modules and uh, we want to also load this .in file to load uh, our private key uh, into into the code so we need to use uh, I think it's this package and then there are several uh, modules in zero SDK which we need to import and then later we will see how we are going to use them <coughs> yep. so two from the go ethereum and the five from uh, zero G storage client uh, which zero G provides and uh, once we have all these packages we first I uh, need to install these packages. We can first go mode init. For example, 0g sdk. Let's do demo this time. Okay, and go mode tidy to install all these packages. Okay, and then we have these two files. Now let's see. Okay, so we want to know the status of our storage service. So what we can do, we first need to define the IP. Uh, let's use just the official RPC, the storage as net, this IP, and we need to create a client to connect this client is from the node yes a new client must new client if there's an error we return if there's not it's all good and then the status is very very simple by just the calling client dot zero g storage dot get status and uh, if there's error it's return otherwise let's see we print out this status okay okay now we can actually run it let's see what we get oh okay import not used all these are for later purpose so we're going to comment out as of now. Okay. You see the result. And the status is of a struct which has connected peers, log sync height, log sync block, sync height, sync block, peers. He, right now there's zero peers uh, uh, node connect to our service. Uh, the reason is that we just uh, restarted uh, after an upgrade. Okay, now this is to show the status of the storage service. And the second use case, we want to, uh, it's a bit more complicated. We want to upload a file. 
let's actually just uh, create a function called upload file and uh, in upload file let's see what we need in order to upload files to the storage node kind of Probably disable the GitHub Copilot temporarily. Disable completion. Okay, upload the file. We first need to load the environment, the environment variables, basically. It do by error. Dot in dot load and uh, if error is not new, we'll return. Okay. And uh, we can create a struct, a struct which stores all the configurations just to make the code more readable. And we call this up, upload args. And then we can create an instance of it, upload args. Okay. First is file. You can just name it, for example, test file. It will be the file that you want to upload and tag. The tag of this upload file uh, it can be arbitrary uh, string actually url uh, use our official blockchain rpc contract this is going to be our uh, log contract which you can find in the 0g doc and we have key which we get from the environment private key the force whether we enforce the upload of a file if it's already uploaded or not and the task size this is the task the parallel task size because uh, we uh, trigger the parallel upload so this is a number of uh, uh, workers Okay, and then we can create a W3 client from our blockchain blockchain dot web three args URL key, and we need to close it after the code. Uh, finish so to close it and uh, we also need the contract this it's the first converted to from hex to address using no contract oh, actually it is a common Ethereum common Let's get this log contract. Or you call we call it a flow contract uh, either way. Which is a contract new flow contract. Let's call it a flow contract. Just to be aligned with the name here. Flow contract contract address and W3. Also check the error. Okay, now we have this flow contract. Then we can 
initiate our uploader. Okay, it's using the struct from this transfer module. Transfer new uploader. As you can see here, first is flow. Second one is a list of nodes. this is the client that we just passed in and a client storage service flow contract okay. also check error now we have uploader let's define the configurations uh, for our, for our uploader transfer dot there's an upload option and it has tags to let's decode this text because see it's a list of bytes so we decode it force whether we force it to re-upload even the file exists force. And the task size, we just define task size. Okay, uh, we have the, conf uh, the configuration. Okay, then let's load our file, the test file. Let's create a new test. It can be just the arbitrary uh, content. This file, right? Okay. Open this file. Check the error again, and again, and again. And we need to also close this file after it's used. Okay. And let's call upload. Uploader. Okay, first is the file, okay. and the second one is the option. And it's, uh, it's not new, it's a uh, print. Then I think we finish uh, the function to upload a file to our storage service using uh, yeah, using the provided a zero G storage client, which is our SDK. Okay, then let's run it. What do we have? Okay, so first it will, it will calculate the data root and create the segments to upload. So you see it has no name, seg index, etc. And the time uh, it prepares the file. And the first, it needs to wait for this upload action to be recognized on the storage. So we first send a transaction to the contract on chain and the storage node need to listen to that uh, event. And once it listens to that event, it, it appears on the node, we can start uploading the files. Okay, and the finality time of this period is about 12 blocks. So you roughly need to wait a, a, about a minute here in order for it to recognize this log entry. It's unavailable yet, so there's a warning message, but uh, you don't need to worry about it. It uh, should take uh, uh, a while. 
Okay, then you see that this file upload took around one minute, 18 seconds, and it means it succeeded, succeeded. Okay, now you see two examples of how you can use the 0G storage client to check the status of the storage node service or upload a file to a certain storage service using the provided SDK. There are also more complicated uh, applications uh, waiting for you to unlock. Thank you for watching.